are here in the prayer room at General Assembly and we set it up with a northwest outdoorsy kind of a feel as a space apart for people to come and find a place to uh, refresh and renew. It has been used that way. Mm -hmm. People just come in and, and find their space, whether it's walking the labyrinth or um, sitting with a spiritual director, making a collage. Um, it's kind of fun to watch people come in and explore the space and, and use it. So what makes this a Pacific Northwest space? Uh, we have lumber that was um, brought in from nearby that was prayed for by the family that has grown it. Mm -hmm. We have native plants that are in here and rocks and shells. Um, and then we're recycling and reusing things mm -hmm. for the artwork. Mm -hmm. So those are all typical and Northwest. Yeah, and Pendleton fabric. There you go. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Sort of a camping mm -hmm. theme. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And it's also ecumenical because the Franciscan sisters mm -hmm. have loaned us some of their resources to use for our general assembly. So we have a floor labyrinth mm -hmm. and finger labyrinth. Finger labyrinth. Mm -hmm. There's also plenty of opportunity just for quiet. Mm -hmm. And we have space for some talking, but also really, truly a, a space that people can find some silence in this large building and in this mm -hmm. large convention mm -hmm. and that might be sort of a rare commodity in mm -hmm. this experience of this week. Mm -hmm. And you've sat with some people and done I have, spiritual yes. direction? Yes. So some people are coming in with a lot of questions about what is spiritual direction mm -hmm. and sensing that they would like to learn about it as well as maybe uh, experience it for themselves um, beyond just an academic mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. So having us taking shifts as spiritual directors is providing a presence and an opportunity mm -hmm. to, to learn and grow together um, as a church about what this emerging, this emerging discipline looks like mm -hmm. and what it might, uh, what might be the potential for it in the Presbyterian Church. Great. So part of our title is prayer. And we're prayer at the General Assembly, but our involvement started before uh, the General Assembly convened. We got prayer partners for each of the commissioners. And then I just love this about this presbytery. There were so many people that wanted to pray that rather than just praying for the commissioners, we were able to have prayer partners for the people that were behind the scenes, for the General Assembly staff and for the volunteers and for the people that were running for elected mm -hmm. office. So just, it's an enormous um, effort of praying into the General Assembly and praying during the S General Assembly. The three of us also have adopted the practice of what we call praying into the space where we circulate through the the um, prayer through the committee rooms and the public spaces of the convention center and it's in spiritual direction it's called holding the container mm -hmm. and the three of us are spiritual directors so we go into the, the committee rooms and just hold the container and um, just make room for spirit to be working and supporting the people that are there I find it very powerful I'm finding that I'm doing guerrilla spiritual direction. <laughs> yes. That when I walk around, there, yeah. there, there are mm -hmm. moments of doing spiritual direction with people just because we're there. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Because yeah. we're there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, mm -hmm. that makes it the ministry of presence, mm -hmm. really. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So I also get quite a kick out of the fact that you've got three spiritual directors that sort of organize this room and we've got opportunities to pray with color that is to be doing mandalas and um, to make your own prayer cards and meditation cards so there's a lot of different ways of praying besides the kinesthetic active walking your prayer and we're also having fun in here <laughs> there's laughter and joy and smiling and sharing about experiences that mm -hmm. people are having that um, it's both somber and yet open to the joy and mm -hmm. I have really appreciated that in working with both of you.